a new button action was added to the chat system. We can create a button that allows a photo to be taken and saved to that button with the Take a Photo button action. I will set up an example of how it might be used in a vocabulary option. Please note that if a communicator takes an extreme number of photos, it may fill up the memory of the device. You would be able to connect the device by way of USB cable and access the photo gallery to delete unwanted photos if necessary. You will also note that the button action allows a new picture to be taken in that place over and over again. I will use the WordPower 60 basic file and select the Photos button found under Groups. I am going to customize the option so that the communicator could be ready to take pictures on that page. I might set this page up for a field trip or a vacation, creating an opportunity for a communicator to capture moments from the trip. Or another idea might be capturing moments in a day at work or class. I am going to create a page for favorite books. So I'll tap Menu, Edit Mode, I'll select my button edit the button, and I'm going to create a label for favorite books. I could select an image if I wanted to through the find feature, but I'm going to go ahead and just save the button. I'm going to tap that button so that it opens up my page, and now I'll program a button to create a camera. Edit button. I'm not going to put anything in the label or in the message. I'm going to go ahead and find a picture of a camera. Oops, search. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this camera that's under symbol sticks. I'll go to my button actions. I'm going to delete that speech message add an action, scroll till I find, take photo, tap save. I'm going to go ahead and copy that button and paste it onto the other ones. I've now set the page up to take six photos on this page. Again, the button action allows you to retake photos over and over again. So if I wanted to take a picture of some of my favorite books, I'm going to go ahead and slide a book under. I'm going to hit take a photo. I took a photo of the book and I can say save. It assigns it a number. I could rename that if I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And you can see now that that took a picture of one of the books. I'll do it one more time. So five little ladybugs is now in my photo. I'm going to hit save. It assigns a number. I'll hit save again. And it's now in my library. Just to show you that if I were to take that photo again, it's always just a button action. So I would end up replacing that photo.